Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Jing Nguyen. I'm technical application specialist for Dolomite. So today uh, is our final section uh, of the webinar series that we uh, have run from earlier this year. So today's uh, this webinar uh, will be focused on the open discussion. So we will um, recall about the owner to need for uh, to know about microfluidic. So um, this today webinar will be um, including uh, three main sections. So the firstly, we uh, will summarize with uh, a summary presentation, and then we will uh, move to the open discussion. So in the open discussion, we will uh, answer all of the questions that you have uh, shared through the website. And also, uh, if you have questions uh, at this moment, so please feel free to write down the question in the uh, question box. So I will try to uh, directly uh, discuss about in uh, about uh, the question in uh, open discussion. And finally, we have the quiz game. So in the quiz game, we have a small quiz with just uh, four questions. So uh, the winners of the quiz will win a microfluidic chip or get 50% discount voucher for your chip purchasing. So it depends on your chip requirement uh, and its availability. So uh, we will contact the winner through email after uh, the section. So let's start with uh, the first section, uh, the summaries of the, about the microfluidics that we have learned through this year. So the content of presentation will be included in the what and why microfluidics, and what do you need for run microfluidic experiment, and how can a microfluidic be used for droplet and bubble generation, and finally, uh, how can microfluidic be used for making particles. Uh, so, uh, as we already learned about the microfluidic technology, so it uh, enable formation of highly monodispersed droplet in a range of micrometer to uh, 100 micrometer uh, to generate a, a complex structure, for example, like emulsion, double multiple emulsion, or encapsulated gas bubbles, or more compl uh, complex uh, particle like xenon particles and hybrid materials. So um, with microfluidic technologies, the droplet uh, also can be used as microreactors to create a complex formulation. Uh, uh, a sample can be confined, dilute, mixed, split, or analyzed. So the microfluidic technology work uh, with uh, uh, the droplet a pinch uh, through the microfluidic chip junctions uh, with a minimal input energy. So, uh, because it is very easy to control the parameters using microfluidic technology, so we can generate a very monodispersed droplet of particles. We're, and also uh, using small input energies, so the materials being encapsulated in droplet or in particle can be saved during the process. So today, uh, application is very wide range of application area, we including the molecular biology or simulation of porous media, for example, and continuous flow chemistry. So uh, now the people must more focus on the particle and nanoparticle generation and man manufacture. So it's very hot topic at this change. Uh, and uh, with the microfluidic uh, applications, so driver is a high value cost and time save, and new capabilities and process improvement uh, rather than low cost of system and experiment. So what do you need for running a microfluidic experiment? Basically, so three most important uh, components uh, that you have to carry out for running experiment. So you will need a pump, you will need a surfactant that to stabilize or drop it at the formation. 
and you will need a microplastic chip uh, that's, uh, in, in, in that the application we run. So um, in here, so in the one uh, Dolomite single channel system, we basically have pump, uh, three pump, pressure pump, and microfluidic chip and microscope. So using microscope, we have a microscope integrated with high-speed camera, so it will help you to visualize on the droplet formation uh, uh, inside the microfluidic chip channels. And with different application, you can use different uh, chip geometry. So for example, if you want to make a droplet, uh, so we, we will have the droplet chip, droplet junction chip, or if you want to make a nanoparticle, we have a fine input chip or micro mixture chip. So this one showing uh, use uh, one of the key component for uh, in our system, uh, in Dolomar system, is a pressure pump, P pump. So uh, with the pressure pump, yeah, the pressure, it's it working based on the pressure driving mechanism. So uh, we control the pressure to control the flow uh, to provide and provide it and it, it can provide very ultra smooth flow, which is uh, most important factor uh, in microfluidic experiment. So uh, the flow uh, rate will be visualized, uh, will be um, measures and visualized through the sensor display and flow rate sensors. We have fast and accurate measurement of the ultra low uh, liquid rate. And we will move to uh, the application of microfluidic uh, in case um, using for uh, droplet and buffer generation. So basically, there are three methods commonly used from droplet and particles using microfluidic. So it will be including the core flow stream. So it means uh, you pumping uh, together two stream into chip junction uh, to generate up the uh, lateral stream. Or you can make a, the T junction stream by using the T junction chip, uh, which uh, introduce the two flow with uh, 90 uh, degrees angles in flow direction to generate the the, uh, the droplet, which uh, have larger size droplet, larger size uh, compared to uh, the droplet chip junction. So we also have the flow focus stream, so uh, to generate of the uh, droplet uh, through the chip junction. And droplet size or particle size range can be controlled by uh, using different type of the, the method uh, for droplet generation. So with the largest uh, droplet size, we can use the T junction stream uh, with the T uh, junction chip with a micro size, uh, which range from micrometer to uh, less than uh, thousand micrometers, so we using we normally using the flow for focusing stream. And for nano uh, size, nano particle, we uh, we can generate up the nano size of the particles. So we are using core flow stream. So with the microfluidic uh, technologies, uh, we can achieve uh, the very mono dispersed. A particle or droplet which uh, range from uh, 1% to 5% PDI. Um, and uh, the diameter will range from nanometer to 250 uh, micrometers uh, or larger than. It. And with the true put per channel, we will uh, range from uh, nanoliter per minute to uh, milliliter per minute. It's very wide in, uh, uh, in in, in, in throughput uh, selection. So for controlling the droplet size, basically we have two uh, main uh, two way for controlling the droplet size. The first way you can choose a different uh, droplet chip junction size. So uh, with the larger junction, it can form the larger droplet size and smaller chip junction can uh, form the small droplet size. Or the second way, uh, you can control the droplet size uh, in uh, using the 
the same chip by just control or adjusting uh, the relative uh, flow rate of continuous and droplet phase. For example, for example, when you increasing the the flow rate uh, of the continuous phase, uh, it can decrease. You can decrease the droplet size, and in the reverse way, increasing increasing uh, the droplet uh, phase flow rate. So you can increase the droplet size. So uh, using uh, microfluidic technology, we can also uh, generate very advanced droplet. Uh, so we can make more complicated uh, complex the droplet type uh, if required. For example, like we can make double or multiple emulsion, or we can make a Zener particles. So uh, we have uh, uh, the heterogeneous uh, property on the surface of the particles. And application of microfluidic for making a particle. So uh, we now we are focusing on the PLGA microparticle for the drug delivery and drug encapsulation. Uh, basically, the method with the microfluidic we uh, use is uh, introduce the PLGA with this uh, dissolve in the organic solvents like DCM and uh, water free uh, we contain uh, the surfactant like PVAs into the microfluidic chip junction to generate a droplet we contain the PLGA and, and solvent and disperse in, in, in water phase. So by solvent evaporation process, uh, so uh, the DCM will be uh, evaporated out of the droplet and it will leave only a microsphere, microparticle of PLGA. So with this microfluidic technologies, we can, uh, um, uh, it can be used for uh, to encapsulate uh, hydrophobic and hydrophilic of the API uh, or drug using the technique, and it's only possible in microfluidic. And the second application we focused uh, in uh, is using the microfluidic to generate of the hydrogel particles. So in here, we're using the microencapsulator modules uh, uh, for uh, generation of the agarose, uh, which is very attractive for encapsulation. So in here below, so you can see uh, is a 50 micrometers agro bit, uh, which form with low gelling temperature agro using uh, the, the micro encapsulators modules uh, with the micro uh, microfluidic chip. So we can obtain a very, very mono dispersed uh, the agro microparticle uh, hydrogels uh, after uh, uh, formulation uh, through the microfluidic chip. The next application is using microfluidic for uh, making polymer bit. So the bit is uh, generating uh, by undertaking cross-linking reaction uh, on performed droplet. So we make a droplet and doing the cross-linking reaction to generate polymers, uh, microparticle. So the polymer uh, duration of cross-linking can be uh, initiated by UV initiator or thermal initiator or by using the chemical reagent. Uh, so uh, it can be un undertaken in, uh, in, in, in both continuous phase or continuous flows or, or after collection of droplet. And another very hard topic uh, for application uh, the microfluidic uh, to generate particles is uh, liposome and uh, PLJ nanoparticles. So uh, the liposome and uh, polymer nanoparticles are formed using the process, a process of nucleation and growth with using the core uh, flow stream um, method. So the typically the uh, the A stream of the lipid or PLGAs in uh, solvent solutions is forced to flow in the inner channel of the device, and the lipid stream or the PLJ stream is intersected and shredded uh, by two lateral stream of aqueous phase, uh, 
uh, aquifer could be the distillate water or uh, aqueous buffers. So in this way, the uh, lipid or PLGA containing stream is hydrodynamically uh, focused into the narrow sheet. Narrow sheet. So during this process, diffusion uh, of the alcohol or solvent in, into the aqueous phase. So and by pressure trigger the formulation of the liposome or lipid uh, or PLGA nanoparticles by a mechanism of, uh, uh, we call this uh, shell assembly. So uh, with this method, the particle size is controlled by the adjusting relative flow rates of polymer phase and the aqueous phase. And for encapsulation of the API or drug, uh, so uh, the API is uh, brought in uh, on the droplet phase light. For example, like liposome, we use for encapsulation uh, the hydrophilic API or PLGA can be used for uh, encapsulation of the hydrophobic of API, which can dissolve in interface or droplet phase. So here is showing the one the configuration of the systems that uh, we use in the single channel system. So uh, in this uh, system setup, we, we have the two pressure pumps with uh, one for pumping lipid and ethanol in interface, and the other one is aqueous for pumping the aqueous phase uh, in, uh, in, 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 in outer continuous phase. So uh, we can use a different uh, microfluidic chip to generate of the uh, nanoparticles. For example, in this case, we use a fine input chip, or we can use a drop it or a micro mixer chip as well. The other system uh, uh, to use for uh, to generate of the nanoparticles is uh, ANPS, the ultimate nanoparticle system. So with the ultimate nanoparticle system, it can providing is a very um, powerful on the protocol development or uh, production uh, uh, of the lipid or polymer nanoparticles uh, by providing the fully automation uh, uh, function. So the pump operation, loop switching or collection or washing uh, all will be handled automatically. It uh, will help you to save the time with the protocol optimization process. And uh, the sample uh, volume is also very wide and uh, it can be range from uh, 200 microliters, very small amount, to 5 milliliters per sample. And for continued production, uh, we also, uh, this, this uh, the ultimate nanoparticle system also can provide uh, the continued production mode for bed production with uh, up to one liter per hour production rate. And for scale up solution for uh, nanoparticle generation, uh, we have a TELUS system. So the TELUS system uh, increase the uh, output uh, by three distant ways. So it could be increased flow rate through individual junctions, or it can increase the number of junctions working in parallel. So if you have a look in here, we have seven uh, channel junctions uh, with can be integrated in one chip and it can be working uh, in parallels. And uh, it, the output of the system can be increased by uh, increasing number of chip working in parallel. So with, uh, with the TELOS uh, modules, uh, so uh, we can integrate up to 10 chip, TELOS chip working in parallel together so the production with rate would be uh, increased up to 70 times compared to the single channel chip. Uh, so a summary. Um, so uh, this will be summary all of the content that we uh, have learned uh, in, 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 in this webinar series. So we learn about the microfluidic. It's a, a new way of doing noting better, noting better, and it's also a new way of doing things that can be done, uh, can be done uh, any other way. 
and the Dolma can target many of the key applications in the area of emulsion and particles, for example, like PLGA micro and nanoparticle, or liposomal lipid nanoparticle, or polymeric microparticle, or nanoparticles as nanoparticle synthesis for API encapsulation for food and cosmetic or catalyst quantum of very wiring application uh, in microfluid. Uh, well, so um, let's uh, uh, remind you that um, all of record webinars uh, have been uploaded in uh, our website. So if Anyone or if you uh, have interest on this or uh, anyone uh, didn't have chance to visit to join uh, with our previous webinars, you can uh, visit our website uh, dolomimicrophotic.com uh, to watch the course again. So uh, we finished now a presentation for summary of the knowledge about microphotic and its application now. So now we will move to um, the next section is open discussion and a quiz game. So remember just please stay to the end of the webinar to, for playing the quiz game. So you will have a chance to win a micro chip or uh, you can get 50% discount voucher for your chip purchasing. Uh, so it depending on uh, your chip requirement and its availability. Okay, so uh, moving to the next section, the open discussion. So in this uh, section, um, I we received a uh, number of the questions from uh, the customers from you so through the website. So uh, during open discussion, I will try to uh, answer all this question. And also, if you have more questions in uh, Microfodic, so please write down the question in uh, the question box or chat box. So uh, we will try to, uh, we will have discuss uh, on this uh, in uh, open discussion. So let's move to um, the first question uh, we received. So the advantage and the advantage of agarose droplets and double emulsion. Uh, so for this question, um, we are not sure on that one because the agro bits and double emulsion uh, is uh, really it's a comparable thing because the one is a material and uh, the other one is a, a technique. So the double emulsion is a technique for uh, uh, microfluidic uh, generation. So you can make a double emulsion with agarose in one of the phase if you want. So let me um, uh, talk more about uh, a little bit about the agro and the double emulsion for the clarifying uh, this question. So um, actually the agro is made from uh, agar or sweet uh, seaweed. So it has been used for wiring of biomedical, uh, biomedical application that we will be including the separation of biomolecule ana for analysis or scale for uh, tissue engineering or uh, vehicle for the drug delivery. And it also can be used in in, in actuaries of uh, for the optics and uh, fluidic and motors, uh, uh, cellular uh, matrix for biological study. So the droplet based microfluidic system have so uh, have unparalleled uh, advantage for uh, synthesis the polymer particles, and it's been uh, utilized to produce hydrogen particle with well defined site and shape and morphologies and the double emulsion will be consist of the droplet encapsulate when, uh, within a larger droplet dispersed in uh, bulk liquids so uh, many commercially uh, successful product containing double emulsion formulation including the paint and coating or, or in salads the dressing line measurement uh, and drug so Comparing with uh, the, the traditional bed method, double emulsion formation, so microfluidic will offer more time and cost efficient methodologies. Um, so yeah, I hope that uh, can make uh, the questioners, these questioners uh, more clearly uh, about uh, the, the agro droplet and double emulsion. So 
uh, to clarify more about this question. So if you have uh, more information or more uh, questions, so please send us your question through the email Hanoi office at uh, .com. So we will uh, email uh, our answer in detail to you later. The second question I uh, received is that I want to um, make a 3, 5, 10 micron silica emulsion droplet with capacity of 20 to 50 liter per hour. So yeah, micro silica emulsion droplet with a smaller size like 3 uh, to 10 microns can be uh, yeah, can be done using the micro chip uh, with uh, our 5 or 14 uh, micrometer of small drop chip junction. Uh, so um, with this kind of chip, we can uh, uh, generate up the, from 3 to 10 micrometer silica emulsion droplet. However, so after, uh, with your capacity of uh, 20 to 50 liter per hour, after doing in math in backgrounds, so if we assume that the flow rate will be uh, uh, 0.5 microliter per min in a five micrometer channel to make up small droplet. So it this mean uh, the per channel, the total throughput is uh, uh, 0 0.03 milliliter per hour. So if you want uh, to generate the 20 to 50 liter per hour, so that would require a system that would run uh, more than 6,000 or the 1 million 6,000 parallel junction. So even if we were develop a tailor, tailor uh, that could have 1,000 channel per chip. So you will still need the, from 60 to 160 full tailor system running in parallel to achieve, to achieve it. And that's, the most difficult, also the most difficult type chip we ever make, like five uh, micrometer chip. So uh, also with uh, your application, so it would mean that the chip own to be need uh, need to be coated with the hydrophobic uh, surface coating. So which uh, on its own will be a very nightmares, and it's really a big challenge to uh, generate the small droplet of uh, silica emulsion uh, with very high capacity like uh, 20 to 50 liter per hour. It's very big challenges. And the next question is how can I change the wettability of microfluidic chip from water to wet to oil wet? Um, yeah, it's the basic knowledge to uh, change the microfluidic uh, from what you wet to the oil wet, uh, hydrophilic to the hydrophobic. So you will need to um, to do the, the hydrophobic coating. So uh, it is established by applying uh, selenizing uh, the agent onto the bare glass surface. For example, if you want to change the, the glass chip, the glass chip uh, from the hydrophilic to the hydrophobic properties, so uh, the finished uh, surface has a cell assembly of monolayer of the, the sealant, uh, sealant group, and it's rendering the surface uh, as a water repelling. So uh, to uh, reinforce the hydrophobic uh, city of chip, so uh, it's recommend to use a rain repellent such as uh, like aqua pearls or uh, silanized uh, substrates. So the silanization consists uh, of reaction between the uh, silanon group on uh, at IO2 surface and alkoxylan, uh, alkoxylan silan uh, forming a stable covalent bond. So silan will be employed for uh, at IO2 and subsequent covalent reaction to bind the other uh, entire occur depending on the employed silan uh, head group. So uh, the use of the silan uh, or more precisely, uh, is the floral sealant is common, commonly used uh, in the generation of droplet when using uh, the glass microfluidic device or PDMS uh, microfluidic device. I hope this is yeah, clear for uh, this question. 
And uh, question number four is which carriers make the best nano microsphere in terms of the particle stability after fabrication? PLJ, Polypis, or Hybris? So is there any difference between the harness of the particle fabricating with the microfluidic system and uh, conventional uh, method, uh, for example, spraying or drying or emuls uh, emulsification method? Um, well, yeah, so for this question, so this is very depending on the quiet filtering line, um, if uh, the particle is stable in which solution uh, or uh, under what condition. So does this mean structurally uh, stable or stable in uh, respect of the lead profile? Uh, so please, if you can provide us more information through uh, the email letter so we can uh, uh, directly give your more detailed answer. So for in this, in this moment, so uh, we don't necessarily have a clear answer to the one way or not just with a quick search online, didn't you many results in terms of comparison data? And also uh, with the same uh, in the case of the particle hardness, through the in uh, principle, if a structure of finer particle is consistent between uh, the method, so it should it shouldn't uh, be a, uh, a quite different uh, in hardness. Uh, for example, like with the PLGA micro particles. So when you remove all the solvent from particles, so it will increase the harshness of particles. I hope this helps with this question. Okay, let's move to question number five. As a previous for uh, the uh, transition to uh, clinical uptake, synthesizing a plant proof nanoparticle for larger preclinical um, using post uh, challenges. So can microfluidics uh, be applied to what's mass production of the nanoscale particle and uh, potentially solve this uh, dilemma? So it's, yeah, it's a good question, very good question. Uh, so uh, let me answer this one. Uh, with the microfluidic system, uh, it, it already demonstrated uh, that uh, with it's a great potential as a platform for uh, synthesis of both organic or inorganic uh, nanoparticles particle, uh, with a very well controlled size and shape. And uh, to improve uh, techniques for synthesis resulting in uh, higher quality and uh, produce nanoparticles is expected uh, to accelerate the production of nanoparticles for biomedical or other uh, application. So, the obvious, uh, obvious, obvious uh, challenge of microfluidic nanoparticle production lie in uh, the transition of group of concept stack to clinical and industrial practice. Uh, uh, practic. So, so uh, not just uh, like high cost and process uh, variability hinders transition from the lab scale uh, into uh, product commercialization. So, for example. Um, to uh, company with uh, with with CGMPs, so the technologies that offer reproducible and scalable production, uh, biological relevant uh, material must be uh, developed. And yeah, the challenges. Uh, yeah, yeah, as a, the question uh, in in the question content, the challenge is uh, scaling up the microfluidic uh, technology. So uh, perhaps one can draw the inspiration from advance uh, of the computer science or engineering. So uh, it, it, it can make massively, uh, massively uh, parallel processing system, uh, which have led to uh, computation, computational uh, powder, uh, powers capable of the dealing with the big data. So, and also the one good thing that the scale up challenge uh, highlight in the, this uh, uh, perspectives are solvable. So at least that might be the, in case of uh, precision medicine. So where the scale is, uh, the individualized uh, therapeutic product would be uh, addressable uh, by micro technologies. So by the way, uh, nevertheless, so um, the microfluidic system uh, are very promising 
for solving the, some uh, currently challenges and speed up the development of the for of the upscale uh, and cost effective nanoparticle synthesis. I hope this is clear for this question. Okay, next to uh, next question. Do you have a low cost microfluidic system to separate uh, circulatory tumor cell from the blast? For this question, uh, frankly speaking, so I'm not sure we do. Um, maybe we might need uh, your more information uh, about this. Like, is this a selective remove of specific cell from blast sample? Or what the size of the tumor cell just need to separate from blast? So, uh, if possible, please uh, send it, uh, more information about this one to the email handle office at blackjay.com. So, uh, we can uh, give you or send you the email with the answer more detail about uh, the, the, this application and the system uh, uh, we can provide, uh, can be provided uh, for this application. The question uh, number seven, so please recommend a good tip for uh, lipid nanoparticle formulation. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this, this question is the content uh, in our last uh, uh, previous uh, webinar, we focus on liposome generation. Basically, uh, to uh, formulate the lipid nanoparticle or liposome, so we have uh, used three type tip in our uh, application. So the first is we use for larger droplet junction chip, just uh, you can see in here. So it will providing the flow focusing of the two fluid stream and it allows you to make uh, lipid nanoparticle with the size uh, from as small as uh, 20 nanometer. And the total flow rate can uh, up to one liter per hour. So for this chip, the type chip, we have a lot of uh, we we have lots of data using the chip with uh, the AP, uh, ANP system, the ultimate nanoparticle system. So that we can share with you. And the second type chip uh, is good for uh, lipid nanoparticle formulation is the micro mixer chip. We can providing the turbulent flow mixing, so it allow you to make a lipid nanoparticle with your particle size. Uh, uh, in the range of the 50 to 300 nanometer by adjusting the relative flow rate ratio of the lipid phase and the aqueous phase. And this kind of chip give a very wide, uh, a wider range uh, siring with the higher throughput. And we also have a lot of data uh, using this chip with a single channel system uh, that we can share with you. And the third chip that we recommend is a fine input chip so it's using the 3d flow focusing and uh, this type chip uh, can providing the better encapsulation uh, of the api or drug or another encapsulator and encapsulant uh, uh, for your application so it will allow you to make a lipid nanoparticle uh, which is size from 50 to 230 nan nanometer by adjusting of relative flow rate ratio and it able, enables better control over the polydisper index, so you can generate a more mono, higher monodisper uh, uh, nanoparticles. And also, we have a lot of data using this chip with the single channel system that we can share with you uh, later. I hope this uh, helps for this question. And the final question that we receive is how the liquid uh, impermeable uh, vent is and which application need vent and what are the criteria, uh, criteria uh, you consider in materials uh, selection? Well, for this question, frankly speaking, we don't have much experience on using the liquid uh, impermeable vent uh, with the microfluidic system. Uh, as as far as I know, so um, 
for using the, the liquid uh, impermeable uh, vent. So it can be used in case of you want to make up the, uh, the gas buffer in the liquids. So uh, when we introduce the gas into the liquids, we, we need to use a vent to prevent the water leak from the system. Uh, so it, it would be uh, used as uh, the larger scale of the, the buffer generation. Um, I think uh, if you can share more information about your application or uh, about the ideas that you want to do with your application, uh, it's better to uh, have it to give uh, your, uh, um, uh, give you uh, the more adv advice or more uh, instruction about this one. So if possible, please send us more information uh, through the email to hanoiofficeblackchai.com uh, at blackchai.com. So we can provide, we can send you an email uh, with uh, more details enter. Uh, okay, so uh, here is the only question that we received from the website. So uh, for the um, select uh, the best question, so we are internally discussing with our team uh, to choose the best question. So uh, after, after uh, we got up the results, so our marketing team will contact the winners through the emails. Uh, so let me see, if, uh, we have another question from the question box. Okay, I can see so one question. Can layer by layer assemblies or coating a particle uh, be achieved using an automate, uh, automated system or would a sequence to using the micro uh, multiple system be required for this purpose? Um, for coating, assembly coating of particles, um basically with yeah ultimate uh system uh it it is very powerful for generated nanoparticle uh by uh shell assemblies uh of the, the particles so i think for coating for coating of particles it could be it could be uh, do with the system uh, even though we haven't tried which is in in our application we just try to formulation of the particle but by introduce uh, parts by parts for layer coating uh, so you can you can integrate the, the different type of chip uh, for step by step with the system uh, with the ultimate nanoparticle system, we have uh, a modular. Uh, the, also, we have modular. Uh, the system it, it, it's kind of modular system. We have another modular like pump. We we can add more the pump into the, the system. So in this way, I think I, I think we could do with the ultimate nanoparticle system, but for this application by just adding the more uh, the 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 modules like like pump and chip in the system and do it by step by step i hope this helped with this question so if you um, have more uh, information about this one uh, so you can uh, send us the email through the email uh, hanoifit at bytrade.com so we can try to uh, give more detail about the answers to you. Okay, I got one question, another question. Uh, higher flow rate ratio value with smaller or bigger size of uh, the lipid nanoparticle. So uh, yeah, actually with the higher flow rate ratio, you can obtain smaller size. I believe the smaller size of lipid nanoparticle. So uh, flow rate ratio um, 
let me move to uh, the, the, the slide. Okay. So uh, for this slide, for example, uh, when we done we we do the lipid nanoparticle formulation in here. So with the higher flow rate ratio, you should have smaller size uh, in, in in lipid size because when uh, flow ratio uh, ratio we determine by the flow rate ratio of the flow rate of uh, of the uh, the lipid phase and uh, water phase. So when at higher flow rate ratio, so it means the, the flow rate of the inner phase, the lipid phase, would be higher increase. So the fast, the mixing will be uh, the the fast, uh, the faster with the higher flow rate. So uh, the the time for uh, particle generation it would be short, uh, shorter or, or yeah. So. So it means the particle will be generated at the smaller side. So in this case, the flow rate ratio increase in here. Um, sorry. So this one should be should be uh, might be uh, one 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 mistake. So the flow rate ratio increase. So it 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 generates at the smaller particle side in here. You can see. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This a mistake. Uh, uh, yeah. Mistake of, about the graph. Thank you for the question, uh, Roger. Let me check. We do we have uh, another question? Okay, so I don't see any other question in this. So now we move to uh, the our final section. Yeah, uh, a, a quiz game. So for the playing the quiz game, please access the website, uh, kahoot.it, uh, as instruction in the slide, and enter the pin number. Uh, the pin number I will uh, provide after slide, uh, the slide, uh, right after slide, and uh, to join the quiz. So, um, and uh, write out the full name uh, for playing the, the game. And uh, after that, you answer the question by choosing the color in uh, according with the, the answer. So the winners of the quiz will win a microphone chip of 50% uh, discount voucher for chip purchasing. So it depending on your chip, uh, on the chip uh, requirement or also its availability. So uh, we will contact the uh, winner through the email later after the section. So let's move to the quiz game number, pin number. You can judge the, just please visit to kahoot.it and enter the pin number in here, 67271277. And write out the full name to playing the, the, the quiz game. Let me share the screen for this one. Okay. I see the three players in here. So we wait a couple of minutes for uh, make sure that all of the people attend here and George with uh, the game. Okay. So uh, just remind you our um, own recording to this webinar series we we upload on uh, our website. So uh, we are pinned uh, the the link for uh, getting the link for the recording webinars in in chat box. So if you have interesting to watch 
he what about the record uh, the recording the webinar series so you can go through uh, the the link in website uh, just link our website to watch it okay so uh, again also please visit to sorry please visit to uh, website kahoot's website kahoot.it and uh, type in the game pin that we provide in here and write out your full name to uh, have a chance to win uh, a chip or microwave chip or 50% discount voucher for chip uh, purchasing Or you can you can do uh, in in from the um, mobile with uh, getting the Kahoot uh, app. So you can uh, enter the pin number in here six seven two seven one two seven and with the your full name to play in your, your quiz. Mm -hmm. We wait one more minute for uh, uh, waiting the, the the people's can access the game. Now I can see just only four people who are already in. So remember that you will have a chance to win the chip, free chip, or getting the 50% discount voucher for uh, your purchasing, chip purchasing. So please. So we will start after 30 seconds, getting more time, small time for, for people can enjoy with us. Okay, we got one more. Okay, so we have five people. In here so uh, quite few as i uh, expect uh but okay we can start the game now are you ready okay let's start okay the so first question 
What are the most important thing do you need for running microfluidic experiment? You have red pump microfluidic chip microscope, blue pump microfluidic chip surfactant, yellow uh, pump microscope and surfactant, and green microfluidic chip microscope and surfactant. Remember that those score will be also depending on the time you will to answer. So as the first uh, the actual time, so you can got higher score. Okay, we got the three answer and all, uh, three, four answer is one select pump, microfluidic chip surfactant, correct, and the other one is the green one. Good. Next, uh, next question. Now we can see the uh, Samantha. You get highest score and Adam get the second. Roger, you didn't give answer. Oh. Okay, so next question. How to control the drop size in microfluidic experiment? Red adjusting relative flow rate of continuous and droplet phase. Blue is choosing the different chip junction size and the yellow is about the above. Okay, we got the readers. We got one uh, answer in the red, one is blue and two in the yellow. So yellow is a the right question, a uh, right answer. So it's both well, we can control by adjusting relative flow rate of continuous and drop rate, and also choosing the different chip junction side to control the drop rate side. Okay, let's see who's the lead. Okay, Samantha is still the lead, and Adam is second, and Anna is third one. Okay, next. Nice question, the third question, you will have two more questions. So please focus. The third question is what's common method of using magnetic to produce nanoparticles? Flow focusing stream, droplet method, core flowing stream, T junction stream, and none of above. We have nine seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. So we got four answers. Oh, this is incorrect. So because the first answer is flow focus stream and it's for droplet method. So it it it's used for uh, droplet generation. And the right answer is the core flow stream. So we introduce together the two stream in the chip junction and to make uh, lateral flow. It used for nanoparticle generation. Okay, let's see. Boy, I think, yeah, the, the order is, is, didn't change. Okay, final question. What is chip surface coating that you need for production of oil water emulsion? Hydrophobic coating, hydrophilic coating, and fluorophilic coating. Remember that it's all in water emulsion. We have a 10 second left. Four, three, two, one. Power. So now we got three answer and two answer is hydrophilic coating and one answer is fluorophilic coating. So in this question is the hydrophilic coating is right answers because we make up the oil in water. So in this one, the water is in the continuous phase. So it's, it needs to uh, hydrophilic coating to generate up the oil in water emulsion. Let's see the final results. Number three is Anna. Number two is Adam. 
and the winners is Samantha. Congratulations, Samantha. So, okay. So please, Samantha, please uh, the uh, screen so screenshot your, uh, the screens with the results, this final screen. And uh, we will contact you through the email uh, to uh, for uh, give you a, a chip or 50% vouchers uh, right after this webinar finished. Congratulations. Okay, um, so today webinars, today final section is done. So I'm very thank you for all of you to attend this webinar. Uh, and uh, we wish you uh, have a very good holiday coming up holidays and hope to see all of you in next our activity in 2022. Thank you, everyone, and bye bye. Have a good time. Remember that uh, we will uh, email to uh, uh, the winner for the question and also for the quiz game later, uh, right after the, the uh, webinar. So we will uh, decide what type of chip or what type of the, the gift or you have like 50% discount voucher uh, that uh, you would like to receive. So, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.